Well, as the divided nation waits for a winner to be declared, tension and anxiety are intensifying with Trump supporters following the president's lead and believing the election is being stolen. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso spoke with local voters tonight to get a sense of how this is being viewed here at home. And so what did you find out, Esteban? Well, Alan, I found people who are absolutely adamant that there is widespread fraud, while others scoff at the president's claims of fraud. There's no voter fraud. Yeah, I did. I did vote. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would accept the, the results of the election. It looks like it's going the right way, so yes. <laughs> One person I spoke with who wished to remain anonymous believes there still is voter fraud somewhere in this election. I do think there is voter fraud. Do I have any proof? No, but I think it's every election there is. I think that it's in the voting by mail is where the fraud is mostly. So when it comes to, you know, the mail-in ballots or anything, I mean, where, where do you see the, the fraud in that, in the mail-in ballots? Well, because anybody can fill it out. Even though it's like cross-referenced and stuff, I mean, they check the signature, make sure it's okay. Does that not, you know, sway you in the way that there isn't any voter fraud here? No, I think there's voter fraud in every election. Just to think that there's not any fraud going on. Yeah, but, there's no, but there's no evidence of it. So where, where is the voter fraud? If there is none, then, you know, why think that there is voter fraud? Disproving something's a lot tougher than proving it. Um, we haven't seen any proof or any evidence of voter fraud, and so that's sort of where it stands. And let, until there's proof of it or any evidence, there, there isn't any. I kind of wish they'd just hurry up, but I'm going to accept it. I don't think there's a lot of voter fraud going on. So the first 100,000 come out real fast, and the last two to 4,000 can take some more time. So we're hoping to get those final results by Thanksgiving. So far, there has been no evidence whatsoever of voter fraud or any evidence at interfering with this election. Denle stressed that not just in Butte County, but across the nation, patience is what ballot counters need right now. Alan, back to you. All right. Thanks, Esteban. Well, Butte County said that voter turnout for this election is the most votes received in any election, over 100,000 votes so far.